Just wait till you find out who directed this. Hi everybody, I'm Babalu, and I guess you could say I'm on a bit of a musical kick, because today's movie that I'm going to talk about is another musical, and it is The Phantom of the Opera. Now I want to make one thing very clear, unfortunately I haven't seen the stage production of Phantom of the Opera, so this is just going to be based solely on the movie. I mean, that was kind of obvious, but I just wanted to say that, so yes, I'm not making any remarks about the story or anything because the stage production could be different from the movie, so this is just based on the movie. Okay, now I do know a few people that absolutely love this movie, so just a warning for you guys, I'm just gonna be absolutely honest about that, so I hope you can appreciate that. So, The Phantom of the Opera was released in 2004, and it stars Emmy Rosam as Christine, Patrick Wilson as Raoul, and Gerard Butler as The Phantom. So if anybody doesn't know the story of The Phantom of the Opera, there is an opera house, and it's haunted by a phantom. Basically, he tries to run the whole joint the way he wants it to be run, and he eventually falls in love with Christine, one of the performers who's always in the production. So this is a musical, it's a love story, there's a little bit of action, and yeah, that's what this movie is. But first off, I want to say that the music in here is just excellent. The singing is great, the music is catchy, I could watch this movie over and over again just for the singing. That being said, it's a good thing the singing is good, because... <laughs> This isn't a great movie. It's full of plot holes and terrible effects and a bunch of other stuff that just kind of makes me cringe while I'm watching it. But the singing is great. And now we get to the part where I tell you guys who directed this movie. <laughs> it's Joel Schumacher. Now you might be asking yourself, hmm, who's Joel Schumacher? Hmm, I've heard that name before. He's the man who's responsible for destroying Batman. So you can probably guess I'm not a big fan of his. Seriously, just take my word for it. Don't actually watch those movies. I'm saving you. But getting back to the Phantom of the Opera. As I said before, the singing in this is great. The acting in it is also pretty good, I guess. And the choreography, if you want to call it that, is pretty good too. Other than that, it's kind of a mess. I mean, it's not terrible, but it is kind of a mess. And it's a very weird love story. Like, the Phantom loves Christine, but she's in love with Raoul. But then the Phantom kidnaps her, and then she's in love with the Phantom. But then she's in love with Raoul again. And this whole time Raoul's only in love with just her. And then she's like, oh, I hate the Phantom. And she's like, oh, I love him. And it's, it's all over the place, and it's just weird. So that being said, this movie gets my rating of... It's okay. If you want to watch it for the songs, then that's definitely what you should do. The songs are what this movie has going for it. Other than that, I wouldn't really recommend it. So why don't you guys tell me what your favorite Gerard Butler movie is? Put it down in the comments, we can discuss. Now I'm going to see if I can watch a movie that isn't a musical, but no promises. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Now before you guys leave, why don't you go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Right there, right on the screen, just click on it, and then you can get notified anytime a new video comes out. Also on the screen here, I'm showing you a couple of my older videos. Just click right on them and they'll take you right to them. I really recommend you check them out. And also, if you like this video, click that like button. And you guys can also follow me on all my social medias. I'm on Twitter, at Babaloo. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com slash Babaloo. I'm on Tumblr, Babaloo. Yeah, I know, I get really creative with my social media names. And finally, thank you guys for sticking around to the end and thanks for watching.